Let's now move on to an example where we solve a system of differential equations using matrix exponentials. So here we have uh, ddt of x and y is the matrix 3, 1, 1, 3 times x and y. We have an initial condition of 2, 0. So first we need to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this matrix. So if we take the determinant of a minus lambda i, we will get 3 minus lambda, 1, 1, 3 minus lambda. We need to take the determinant of that matrix. That's going to give me 3 minus lambda squared minus 1. Let's see, that's going to give me lambda squared minus 6 lambda plus 9 minus 1 gives me plus 8. So I'm going to get lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 4. I'm going to set that equal to 0, and that's going to tell me that lambda is either 2 or 4. Let's see about these eigenvectors. So we want to solve a minus 2 times i times v equals 0. So we can solve that. Uh, by subtracting 2 from the diagonal, so we get the matrix 1, 1, 1, 1. And that reduces to the matrix 1, 1, 0, 0. And that tells me my eigenvector is going to be 1, negative 1. Okay, so if I want to solve a minus 4i times v equals 0. Then when I subtract 4 from the diagonal, I get minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Of course, the second row is a multiple of the first. So when I row reduce, it becomes a row of zeros. And the second eigenvector is 1, 1. Okay, so what does that tell me? That tells me that uh, my matrix P is the matrix 1, negative 1, 1, 1. And that my matrix lambda, which contains the eigenvalues, is 2, 4. Notice that I put the uh, I put the eigenvalues in the same order as the eigenvectors appear in P. Now I'll need to calculate P inverse. Okay, so one one way to do that is to do one over the determinant of P. The determinant of P here is two, so one half. Okay, and then uh, I will switch the two diagonal components. That's what you do for a two by two determinant. And then I put a negative sign in front of the other two components. So a negative one here and a one there. And that is P inverse. So my solution, now that I have P lambda and P inverse, my solution to the differential equation should just be P e to the lambda t times P inverse. So let's see what that looks like. So P is the matrix 1, negative 1, 1, 1. E to the lambda T is going to be E to the 2T, because that's the eigenvalue 2 on the diagonal there, and E to the 4T. The other two components are going to be 0. And then P inverse is going to be the matrix 1, negative 1, 1, 1. And I'm going to go ahead and put that half all the way out in front so that I don't have to deal with it. So y of t is going to be p e to the lambda t p inverse. I forgot y sub 0. So we're going to multiply that by 2, 0. Okay, now this problem that's left is just matrix multiplication. 
Okay, so I'm going to take the 1 half, leave it there. I'm going to multiply the first two matrices together. When I do that, I get e to the 2t, e to the 4t, and then minus e to the 2t, and then e to the 4t. And then what I'm going to do, so that's multiplying the first two matrices together. Then I'm going to multiply the next matrix times the vector. So 1, negative 1 times 2, 0 gives me 2. And 1, 1 times 2, 0 also gives me 2. OK, finally, let's see. Uh, I'm going to multiply the half in so that I get 1, 1 there instead. And then when I do the final matrix multiplication, I get e to the 2t plus e to the 4t for the first component, and then minus e to the 2t plus e to the 4t for that second component. So there's my solution. x of t is uh, e to the 2t plus e to the 4t, and y of t is minus e to the 2t plus e to the 4t. And notice that we did not have to, uh, we did not have to solve for the initial conditions this way. Once I found my eigenvalues and eigenvectors and I multiplied by the matrices, then I could multiply those matrices uh, for e to the at times the initial condition to zero.